A typical day outside Rome's railway station. People queuing for taxis don't wait long. There's plenty of cars, but the drivers aren't always willing to accept cards, that is. Here in Italy, it is difficult to use credit cards for taxis. Abroad, this is easier. I often go to Germany for work, or in France, credit card use is frequent, even for small daily payments. Now Italy's banking industry wants to stop salaries being paid in cash. And it wants the government to make public offices accept credit and debit cards, because cash comes at a cost to business. A cost of as much as 10 billion euros a year for banks and companies processing cash payments. And 100 billion euros of government revenue is lost every year because of untaxed transactions. That's more than a fifth of GDP. Cash may be costly, but it allows Italian companies to avoid high payroll taxes. Certainly cash isn't traceable. Other ways of payment are. Traceable payments help to fight tax evasion and the black economy. We're ready to help the government with this. Banks make a profit from fees on card transactions, fees which put off many Italian retailers. Visa Europe says it will reduce its debit card transaction costs. It's part of a new EU deal and could encourage more Italian businesses to accept cards. But it may not be enough to change Italy's cash culture. In Italy, credit cards cost more than in many other countries. Most credit card companies charge a fee to issue the cards. We also have monthly costs. Even the monthly balance costs one euro. In many other countries, like the US, the costs are zero. The average Italian consumer is five times less likely to use a card than a British one. So for those who want to pay with plastic, it could be a long wait. Neira Chehich, Bloomberg.